Okay, so Mark meets Vass, creative director and founder at Less Rain. How are you doing? Very well. Good, good. Can you give us a quick summary of your career? A quick summary of my career? Okay, well, uh, I was told when I was about 15 years old that I should study computers because they were the future. Who told you that? A friend of my mom's. Okay. And they were right. You know, I didn't know that back then because I was into music and kind of I wanted to, to graduate, and buy an electric guitar, and a, or actually get an electric guitar as a present uh, from my dad and a, a motorcycle ideally, which kind of happened uh, because I was a good student. But um, I didn't have a, I didn't have a clue about computers, and then I studied computers, and I I, I still hated them. That was 1986, 87 because they were you know black screens with. Ugly type. I didn't discover the Macintosh when it came out. I discovered it at around 1988-89 and I got into typography. So I started designing. I was like, okay, computers are good for one thing. You can publish your own magazine. Yeah. So I started designing and kind of publishing our own magazine and doing packaging for fast food and whatever else would come along the way that I could do with my desktop publishing software. And then at around, around the mid-90s, I decided, after loads of years of designing stuff, I decided that uh, I wasn't enough and uh, I discovered this other world I had no idea about called multimedia. So uh, I looked it up and I found a course in the UK, in Middlesex University, designed for interactive media. And I thought, well, that sounds interesting. So I moved over here and I specialized in design for interactive media. And uh, I, met, uh, uh, I met someone, a student at uh, the same course, Lars Iberle, and we started Les Rain a year later. That was in 1997, officially 1998, in terms of companies, house data. So we started Les Rain, and I was programming, and he was designing. Just the two of you? Just the two of us, and, and um, started a lot of non commercial projects uh, because we were motivated to do a lot of exciting stuff with the tools we had, and, and that tool was Macromedia Director. Uh, and, and, you know, we wanted, we, we did all, all sorts of different things, quirky things, uh, navigation systems that, that based on, on a dancing bean and a, and, and a singing oyster, just, you know, different things, trying to, to, to show that using a computer, using digital tools, doesn't have to come without humor and surrealism and, 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 and you know, quirkiness. And then along the way we started getting some clients, people that saw our commercial work and, and were like, well, maybe you could do something cool for us. And uh, our first big, big project was the uh, uh, website for Viva TV, uh, some, sometime in 99, and they were a competitor of, uh, or 98 maybe, they were a competitor of uh, uh, MTV in Germany, and we proposed to them uh, multimedia website done in, in, in Shockwave, in, in uh, Macromedia Shockwave, now Adobe Shockwave. And what was the and budget back then? The budget was huge for, the, for that time, you know, he, he, I remember in, eventually it was £80,000. Uh, for us it was huge. Uh, and uh, we came up with a with a concept where you could play this old school game called Arkanoid on the home page and destroy the whole interface so, so then you didn't know where to click. So it wasn't exactly the most, you know, uh, the most kind of return on investment type of solution. But back then you could get away with that. And then slowly we started learning, you know, how to engage uh, users to an, an, a, in a way that is actually beneficial for the brand or the client. And uh, we grew and we opened an office in Berlin and then an office in, in uh, Tokyo for a few years. And we started working with uh, Red Bull uh, a lot, doing a lot of the kind of core uh, digital projects for the last 10 years. And, uh, you know, the last two, three years we've worked with brands like uh, Burberry and Land Rover and uh, Alfa Romeo and Puma and, and Durex and... and you know, lo loads of you know, different people that come to us because they find that we are interesting. Uh, we'd like to say that we choose our clients, clients that are looking for uh, just any 
anyone to do a website, maybe one of the best clients for us, the clients that are looking for something different, are the best ones for us. If you could work for any agency in the world, aside from lettering, who would it be? Hmm, interesting. I, I, I'd like to work for IDO. Uh, because the, you know, the, the, of the, of the, the, the unique view they have in product is uh, But maybe that's idealized, maybe they're not now as good as they used to be, I don't know. Uh, I've been running my own company all my life, to be honest. So I've, I've had my company in Greece and then I came over here and I've been running my own company. Uh, it's interesting to work, uh, say, you know, for a company like AKQA. Uh, I don't know. I think there are lots of interesting companies out there now. Like the other agencies also, like companies like Finney and Kennedy. Uh, it's, it's become much more interesting than, 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 than in the past. So there are lots of places that do interesting work now. Who inspires you and who inspires the agency? Uh, we're inspired by what we observed around, uh, observe around us. And, and uh, we try to get inspiration out of things that are not uh, necessarily digital. Uh, Art, architecture, music, design, fashion. Uh, we're inspired by MIT. You know, anything the MIT does is always inspiring. You know, uh, going through TED and, 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 and you know, making up you know, amazing talks. Watching people use their phones and their computers and doing things you've never thought of. I think if you're looking at, uh, for inspiration, you'll find it in many places. And do you do your work for the awards behind you, or is that almost kind of a bonus? You don't expect those awards when you're creating the work. No, we don't. We don't create work to win awards. Uh, we create it because uh, we're all very proud of, of what we do, and, and we want our work to be uh, as good as it gets. Uh, that's the driving force behind everyone that works at Less Rain. Uh, we're here because we want to create good work. Uh, the awards is kind of our new business strategy. So you do good work, you talk about it, you win a few awards, and then you do another next work is also good, hopefully, talk about it, win a few awards, some articles are written about you. So it's, uh, yeah, the, the aim is to do good work because that's what's important for us. What does someone have to do? to get a job here because obviously you guys don't recruit very often um, and when you do it generally creates a kind of fair amount of interest because uh, of the uh, frequency that, that you, you bring people on board so what, what do people have to do to impress you and, and, and get a job here? It's a good question. A lot of this it is being available at the right time because as you say we're not hiring very often, so when we hire, we look at who's available and... Uh, internationally? Uh, internationally, yes. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, we look who's, who's available, who wants to work with us and we'll, we'll make a choice. I think uh, if, if someone wants to work for us, they should send us their, their, you know, their CV and they should, uh, uh, you know, send us, uh, uh, you know, what they really think about creativity, you know. Often you get people that send you a kind of CV that shows big and reliable, loads of huge brands, but really doesn't say any, anything about someone's personality. You know, we like to say experimental stuff, personal stuff. You know, the stuff that you kind of can't, you know, can't wait to get out of bed to, to do in the morning for a couple of hours before you go to work. This is where the real person is. It's interesting. Okay. And where have you had most success in finding people from? Out of our network, I think, out of our personal network, uh, very often, so someone that we work with would be like, okay, I know someone that would be perfect for this. And it works well like that because they, the person knows who, how less rain is and, and, and they can easily, you know, and, and then if, if friends are bringing friends over, they have a better working relationship, they can do more together. So very often it, it happens like that. And, how, and I, I imagine because it's a small agency, the cultural fit is fairly important. And um, how would you describe the culture here? Well, the, the culture is... Uh, uh, the, we help a lot each other. There is that. So there are no big egos. 
uh, you know, he, we discuss a lot about stuff, and, and if someone has a convincing argument about something, then, then we do it their way. There is no set way of doing stuff, uh, or there is no authority necessarily. I mean, uh, uh, with, with, with some minor exceptions, but necessarily it's, it's, it's quite open for people to argue. So it's quite an open environment. Uh, uh, I think people, the, the, the culture is people actually be interested in stuff and not uh, not just uh, doing the job and going home, but but making an effort to uh, to show people stuff uh, and, and 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 you know de de some of this develop into, some of these things develop into smaller projects. Um, they, you know, there's a creative culture overall. Everyone knows that we're not, uh, uh, you know, we're not trying to hit a specific target for this year. Therefore, we should do this kind of work and this to bring in the right money. It's not like that. We have targets because we're a business, but the main target is to do good work that everyone's happy with. And I know that if we do that, then I'm so. What's, what's the definition of good work? Because design is subjective. What one person likes about design, obviously, another person completely. Dislikes. So is it is it a communal? I don't of think. Here? I think good work is objective. You know, for a certain group of people that can see good work, when they see, everyone agrees that's good. You know, like Uniclock. Did you you know when it came out three years ago? 